Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I'm going to present a style by Raquel Welch. This is called On Your Game. It's in the color Pale Golden Honey RL1688. We're going to break down this style and color that was new for 2019. Coming up. I purchased this style with my own funds. You can find this style at Wig Studio One. Expand the description box below the video and access the link there where you'll get details and pricing on this style. If you have any questions about this style or any other, please feel free to contact support at wigstudio1.com. On Your Game for 2019 by Raquel Welch was one of their shorter ones that came out. It's a cropped layered style with a longer fringe and a very slim profile in the back. So I know I'll get some questions on the color. It's RL 1688 Pale Golden Honey. You'll find Pale Golden Honey on all of the heat friendly styles by Raquel Welch. It's not a rooted blonde. It starts with a medium to dark honey blonde. And that honey blonde is more or less neutral. And then it does have some uh, platinum highlighting in it or ash blonde, a light ash blonde highlight which really neutralizes some of the honey. I would call this a very nice neutral color. I have seen applications of this color that has gone warm. I've had some that have gone a little bit ash to where it really looks kind of gray on camera. This seems to be one of the warmer applications of this color that I have seen. Honey is one of those chameleon kind of colors where you know it can be warm or it can be cool. I think the style has some really flattering layers, especially if you like a little bit of fringe around the face when you have a short style. I love that because it gives you lots of versatility around the face while being very practical, cool in the back. So that front layer is around five and a quarter inches. So that's going to stretch well below my cheekbone. Um, on you, it might strike a little bit differently, but either way, it's going to very sweetly frame the face. And then in the back, we also have about a five inch layer here coming off of the crown, giving it a little bit of profile, but then it quickly tapers down into a two and a half inch nape. It's a very slim tapered back on this style. There is some uh, layering here on the sides, which kind of swoop back and around the ear. I think it's very elegant looking. I don't have a weight measurement on this one, but it does feel like it's probably right around three and a half to four ounces. And then this style features a temple to temple lace front and what I would call a little micro side part. I'll show you more about this feature in my cap segment, but it really is negligible whether there's a mono part there or not. It's just basically a little, a little inlet there off of the lace front that only goes about an inch back. The rest of it is open top, sides, and back. Let's take a look at the lace front. Look how Welch does an amazing job on their lace fronts. Beautiful. Extends back into the ear tab. They take the highlight right up to the lace front. Uh, there's pretty thick density right there at the lace front. As you can see, it starts in pretty dense uh, right there, but it will give you a very nice natural look when you style it away from the face. The fibers feel really nice on this style. This is the Heat Friendly Fiber by Raquel Welch. It does have some body and some texture to it. So that means that however you want to style it or create a little bit of volume here and there, I think it's gonna take very well on this style. A little bit of styling paste, cream, maybe even just a spritz of water to bring out the texture I think would work very well also. There's a lot of permatease on this style. And depending on the color and how you style it, it may or may not be visible from the top. Remember that mono part only goes back to about here. So that leaves all the rest of it. And sometimes you can expose permatease, especially this is a lighter unrooted color. It doesn't look terrible. And I think there's a lot you can do to disguise it if that is bothersome to you. I think the nape is done very well. Even though it's two and a half inches, it kind of coils around that ear and hugs the nape very well.
an inside look at the cap for On Your Game by Raquel Welch. Lace front, nicely contoured. It does extend back into the ear tab, which I love that feature. It eliminates the look of that seam right there. It has a beautiful ear tab, nice velvet, long sturdy stays. Now I wanna bring your attention to uh, that little mono part there. I would call it a mini mono part because it only extends back an inch or so from the hairline. The rest of it is open wefts on the top sides and back. This is one of the memory caps that have the silicone, uh, which is designed to give you more of a custom-like fit and comfortability. Extended velvet nape with Velcro style adjusters. You'll notice I did have to cinch this in quite a bit, which is typical of the Raquel Welch caps. So they run average, but may end up stretching up to average large more easily than petite. This style is right out of the box. I shook it out as I normally do, applied it, kind of found a natural parting space. The glasses fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab on this style. There's very little permatease, volume, um, and the ear tabs are uh, not too thick and heavy. So I think I'm just gonna mess around with this a little bit, maybe change the part, maybe try to create some volume and texture just to give you some inspiration on how to style your On Your Game by Raquel Welch. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.